All right, you guys have been asking me for third-person camera in the comments quite a bit that I've noticed, so this is what my third-person camera settings look like. If you guys are interested, follow along. Um, yeah, it's, you know, everybody's opinion's different on it, but this is what I think feels the best. Definitely could use some touch-ups. I'm not one to use third-person, though, but... These are my settings, so if you're interested, go ahead and watch the rest of the video. Alright, let's get into it. So, right off the bat, as you can see, I made like a little structure here. And that is literally it. I have nothing else. Um, so yeah, right off the bat, let's, uh, let's create our character. Our player. Let's create our camera shot. And a couple of you guys have asked me to make this video now in the comments. I guess it's, you know, fairly difficult to get that right feeling third person, so I'm going to show you what, like, the settings that I kind of use. I don't really make third person games, but I've played a lot of them, so. I'll kind of show you what feels right to me at least. So let's go ahead and check out what they give us here. I'm um, sorry, one second. I'm not doing anything important, I'm just bugs me, so I want to have my camera set right in the gameplay. It's not going to look like this, but this is how I want it to look. So let's go ahead and test what they give us by default. So, nice zoomed out camera. We can zoom in really close. It's kind of centered on our character. I prefer mine to the right side a little bit, like a third-person shooter. Um, clips through walls here, so it's something else we're going to have to fix. And also, I like... Well, I like it optional, but I want my character to rotate with my camera as I pan around. But sometimes, in some of the projects I've made, I've let it orbit my character like this, and then say when I pull out a weapon, it will pan with my camera so I'm gonna show you guys how to pan with your camera and then it's optional up to you guys whether or not you want to use it or not but basically let's fix the camera positioning and the clipping and I'm gonna add like a jump and a little dodge roll too just to showcase it in third person but yeah so it's kinda I mean it looks good it feels good but it's just not set up good so let's go ahead and fix all this. Um, so camera shot. Well, first of all, let's get rid of the clipping. That's super easy. You just go into your main camera, scroll all the way down until you see avoid clipping enabled. Okay, that's done and dealt with. Camera shot. I'm gonna go ahead and fix the zoom right off the bat. So target zoom, I'm gonna put to zero, minimum to two. And I'm going to go ahead and just turn off zooming. So again, that's optional for you. This part here is where it gets a little tricky. So let's see. Under look, I'm going to put look offset. Change that to vector 3. And we're just going to have to adjust some of these as we play in the game. So let's go ahead and try this. So, let's see if I can pause my camera here and click out of it. No. Right there. Okay, so what I did there, so it doesn't orbit anymore, I just clicked off of the scene. But I tried to line it up before I did that, so now I can really practice. Let me go ahead and try, uh, let's see, 0. 0.5. No. 0. 0.5. No. Okay, let's not touch these ones yet. Let's touch these ones. 0. 0.5. Yes. Now 0.5, so now it's off to the side a little bit. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. I kind of like how this looks right now. Maybe I won't go too drastic. Maybe I'll go 0 0.25 for each of them. Three, maybe. Yeah, I kind of like this. So the center's here. He's over here. So, let's see, 0.3 for all of those. Let's see how that looks. 
Can't zoom in anymore. Doesn't clip anymore. Camera gets real close to our guy though, so maybe our guy should turn invisible or something as you get that close, but I honestly have never done that or even tried to do that. But to keep the video short and sweet, we'll just keep it like this as is. Alright, so point three for all of these. Point three, point three, point three, point three. So that's done with look. Now orbit. Um, the max pitch lets us look up and down. The higher it is, the more up, the more down we can look. So see, I can't really look straight down. So let's go ahead and let's try to let's try a hundred here. Now I can look a lot more down, and a lot more up. But I don't even want it that much. I'm gonna try 80. 80 is good. Okay. Got your sensitivities here. We'll just leave that. Maybe not. Let's try 90. I'm gonna go 120 for both. Okay, so we're gonna have to change that as we get out of the game again, but 120 seems pretty reasonable in an 80 pitch. So let's switch that. Okay, I'm gonna leave these things for now. What I wanna do here is change our character to rotate with the camera now. So under our player, our rotation, we will change this to direction, to object direction, main camera, I think, maybe. Just gonna go ahead and copy these components here real fast. But yeah, okay. So now our character rotates with starting to look and feel a lot better than it did before. Yeah. That's pretty much it for the settings. You guys need to adjust them yourselves. So be it. I'm going to go ahead and add a quick jump input and a roll input just to see what it looks like with these camera angles. Alright. Um... Jump, trigger, on, input, button, keyboard, press, space, we will jump our player, duplicate that, call this roll, on, input, button, what could a roll button be, let's go left, alt, just because it's beside my space. Or no, let's go F. And then not jump, but we will dash our player. About maybe eight. And the animation will be, let's see. One hundred basic. Pretty sure this animation pack only has one roll animation, so this roll is going to look dumb if I try and do it backwards or left and right. But let's see how this looks. Okay. Player jump. Okay, the camera follows with our player. That's nice. And roll. So the camera doesn't really get lower with the player, but that's all right. Let's see how dumb this looks backwards. Oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> so if you got the proper animations, it will look better. And you can even add a second camera shot while you do it. But have it slightly lowered, and then switch back when it's done. But the jumping goes with it pretty well, because that actually changes your character's height, whereas the dash doesn't. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this camera angle helps a bit.